Hi guys, so I just got back from uni and I thought why not vlog today? Why not catch up with you guys to tell you what I've been up to and stuff? Um, so yeah, I just got back from uni. As I said, I only have one lecture on Mondays and yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So I was just playing with Louis. Look, my slippers are so cute. I got them recently in Max Mind. I've been playing with him and I was thinking how big he's gotten. He definitely has grown so much and he <laughs> he's getting a little chubby. Well, not chubby per se, but I think British cats are all really round and squishy. Um, doesn't mean that they're fat, but as they're growing up, they become like rounder and they look like teddy bears. That's so cute. So cute, you're so cute. <laughs> I basically didn't do much over the weekend. I was just taking time for myself to relax. I also was sent a few products that I um, took from my PR box over the weekend. So why the light? It's always so dark in my room. It's crazy. So um, this is my dressing table and uh, I'll show you the product. So I got this Michael Todd, it's organic um, American brand and it's their milk and honey firming mask from normal to oily skin and it's 100 milliliters, that's crazy. So I used this mask over the weekend and I really liked it. And you guys have been asking me to film an updated skincare routine, I'm really uh, happy with my skin at the moment. I'm not sure if it's the Korean skincare that I'm using that I got from my meme box, but that's what I've been using every single day, morning and night. So maybe that's actually uh, what has helped my skin. So I will definitely film an updated skincare routine and uh, I will keep using this mask and it might be in the video if I love it. And uh, some other products I've been sent, I, I have them here because I, I wanna try them out. I was sent some, um, a new collection from Art Deco. They sent me this gorgeous eyeshadow palette. These cases come separately and then you buy individual eyeshadows, but they always have these limited edition palettes. And I feel like this one is very um, Turkish, Turkish-like. It's called Majestic Beauty and it's their autumn collection. So they sent me these eyeshadows, a matte gray color, then this one, slightly pinkish, skin color, uh, satin, navy blue color, and then this kind of forest gray color. So I have this nude color on my eyelids today. I have that one all over my lids, which I really like actually. And then I have my Body Shop Honey Bronzer in my crease. And they sent me their new mascara, Extreme Volume Mascara. And this was the thing I was the most excited about. Uh, it's their Glossy Lip Volumizer, which it looks amazing. It definitely is inspired by Dior. Um, I saw it in the shop and it immediately caught my attention. I tried it on and I actually wasn't impressed. The scent is really nice. It smells like peppermint and vanilla. Um, but I have the other, um, the collagen lip gloss from Art Deco and it feels exactly the same. Combination of selected active ingredients like hyaluronic acid and wild mango butter makes your lips appear fuller and nourishes the sensitive skin on your lips and it doesn't have that tingly effect maybe that's why i felt like it did nothing to my lips but i suppose it's meant to just kind of nourish your lips and make them um really soft and make them appear visually fuller and it's um very uh nice non-sticky lip gloss I guess it's perfect for every day. As I said, I don't feel like it makes my lips appear fuller. What do you guys think? It just looks like a clear lip gloss, right? A very comfortable, nice, clear lip gloss that doesn't do much to your lips in my opinion. But And I wanted to love it so much because the packaging is so beautiful and the scent is really nice, but... It doesn't do that much to your lips. So I think the biggest thing for me this weekend was that I got a new computer, which I'm just ecstatic about because my MacBook I've had for, um, actually it was my boyfriend's and then he got a MacBook Pro and he gave this one to me. 
and I've been using it for like three or four years so I think this computer is like seven years old and I really needed a new one because it it got really slow and the fan is really loud when you open it, it makes a really loud noise and it's like the corners are all broken and this bit is kind of like sticking off so I think I'm gonna clean it out delete all my stuff and I don't know what to do with it because I don't I'm not sure that anyone would buy a computer like that it's really old it it works perfectly nothing's wrong with it but it's pretty old and everyone in my family even my granny or little cousin they all have computers so um, I don't know what to do with it. I will be trying to sell it, but anyway, so over the weekend I went to Ideal and because they opened a new Ideal shop in Acropolis, we didn't have uh, an Apple shop in my city and I got a MacBook Pro which I am extremely extremely happy about. By the way, my my uh, button iPhone button is fixed, so it wasn't a big deal. And here it is. Here is my new beauty. It's so slim, this one. Look. It's crazy and so light and so sleek and so beautiful. I'm absolutely in love with it. And Apple computers just last for years and years. They're amazing. And this one is without CD slot. And But actually, I never needed one in seven years, so it doesn't matter. And this one is a retina one. And the screen is just so clear, it's crazy. When I was talking to my boyfriend on Skype, it felt like he's in the room. The sound is just, oh my god. I used to edit with iMovie and uh, I got Final Cut Pro yesterday. So yeah, I have to learn how to use it. There are tons of effects, so I'll have to watch YouTube videos on how uh, to edit with Final Cut Pro because all of the big youtubers they use this program i believe and um they're so professional with their editing and stuff and i want to be able to use cool effects and like do fancy things i've already changed up my intro a little bit you see those floating little sparkles i'm gonna check Elrita's to see how i'm doing on bloggers competition thank you guys so so much because now I beat so many of those guys and I'm so happy about that because, you know, I'm a girl and um, it proves that nothing is impossible, that I can even be uh, in the fourth place and hopefully I'm gonna get the third place soon. So there will be three winners in this competition, the first three places and the winners will get Apple products and I love Apple products in case you don't know yet. So the winners will get iPad, iPad mini and iPhone. At least that's what they've been saying when I signed the documents to be a part of this contest. So I would love, love, love to have an iPad because it would just make my life so much easier. Uh, I'll be able to answer emails or comments that you guys leave me. It would be amazing to have an iPad and um, to be able to be up to date with everything on the go. There's still plenty of time because I think this competition will go on for like a month because there will be more than 10 videos that will go up. I'm so sleepy, I'm yawning every two minutes. So now I'm gonna go downstairs, make myself some coffee even though I just had one coffee, but I'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee because I'm like falling asleep and I have to stay awake. Uh, I told you guys that I still haven't received one book um, from Book Depository, this website where I order the books. I received five or six of them, I think five, and I haven't received one book. I don't know, maybe it got lost somewhere, but I wrote emails to them and the guy was really nice. At first he asked me to check at the local post office, I checked, they didn't have my package and he was really nice. He said, thank you for informing us, we'll ship a new book to you as soon as possible. So that's really nice of them, I think. Uh, they're not making a big big deal out of it. Um, the package got lost, so they're gonna send me a new book So I think that's an amazing customer service. So once I receive this book, I will film a book haul for you because I cannot wait to do that. I have really amazing books Yummy. Here's my coffee, some toast with apricot jam, and that's how I like to work Research rather before doing any of our videos 
and I looked on the internet for other people who had done classes on Final Cut Pro, and I found one of two things usually to be the case. The people who were good were typically... Look at this little... Look at this little thing. So cute. Hi again, so I just dropped my brother at the bus station because he's going back to Konas. He was here for a weekend and now because the bus station was very close to Max Coffee, I'm gonna go grab myself uh, my roasted hazelnut latte because even though I had coffee, I'm still sleepy like crazy and um, yeah, it's because I slept like five hours tonight, so yeah, I'm very sleepy and I'm gonna have some coffee. I want to get a nail polish. I don't know, I feel like I want to refresh my collection a little bit and I'm kind of bored of all the colors I have so I'm gonna look if they have a drugstore, inexpensive drugstore nail polish that I could buy and uh, yeah, have. then I will head home to film my video for Blogometras so I have to stay awake Got my coffee heading to the drugstore By the way guys, if you want to know what I wore today, I love this outfit so I'm gonna show you but you probably saw it in my how to style my coats video So I have my teddy bear jumper from Zara as I like to call it My mango jeans and my Zara nude suede booties from last year Nude Zara bag and my oversized beige choice coat which I cannot be without, I just adore this coat and my H&M scarf a new scarf I recently got which goes perfectly with the colors my hair is pretty messy my Daniel Wellington watch and the usual stud earrings and this is Rimmel Salon Pro in Urban Purple I believe, beautiful color but I have to repaint my nails and so yeah, that's my entire outfit so what I got at the drugstore is this Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover which Anna from Viviana Does Makeup has been raving about she seems to really love it and um, it also removes waterproof um, eye makeup which is great I'll try it out and this is the nail polish I got this was on offer again for like 1 euro 60 this is Rimmel Lasting Finish Nail Polish in Black Cherries and it's just like a this very dark vampy color with a sheen so guys for the video I baked these two shrimp flans and they are so delicious I cannot even tell you oh my god they're just so yummy they have cheese on top and then inside you have um, onion and mm, lots of goodness so so delicious I completely forgot to end my vlog um, and I'm just so sleepy now I'm dozing off and um, yeah I was just basically editing this video from 20 to 3 minutes which took me hours and hours and then I had some errands to run in the city and stuff yada 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 now I was just chatting to my boyfriend on Skype and doing my nails and I actually I hate this new nail polish I got, this Rimmel one, Black Cherries. It got so bubbly and bubbly nail polishes drive me mad. So I had to take it off and then I applied my um, Rimmel Salon Pro in Velvet Rose. I much prefer this formula and the brush and the application. These are opaque in one coat, well most of them. So yeah, I'm gonna end my vlog here. I'm gonna go take my makeup off and I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm just falling asleep right now. And I guess that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and good night. Bye!